Okay, here we are today. Um, I got a, a cylinder head repair that I got from a customer. Um, it's a DS uh, two valve head. Um, he basically uh, had some piston to valve contact and it broke the guides in it. And um, I had to replace the guides. And he supplied me with the stock Ducati guides to replace. And you know, you can see this is the exhaust um, that I took out. It's cracked. You can see the crack in it. Um, that's one of the reasons why we replaced that one. And then the intake. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see if we can. There's a very small hairline crack in the intake. Um, uh, you can just actually see the edge of it right there. So, anyway, um, I particularly do not prefer to use the stock. Ducati guides. Um, I make custom guides out of a bronze material um, and I will size the guide specifically to the valve um, once the guide is installed in the heads and I'll show you why I don't like to use the Ducati guides um, here is because the Ducati guides come pre-sized straight from Ducati um, and plus they're a steel material um, and they won't last as long as a, a bronze material so what you can see here is I have a probe, uh, it's basically a dial indicator, uh, specifically for measuring um, valve stem to guide clearance. And whenever I stick this in here, you can see right at the end of the valve, I got a little over two thousandths clearance, two and four tenths, two and a half, uh, towards the middle of the guide. It gets it drops down to about a thousand a tenth, and you know goes back up again. So it the bore of this guide is not straight at all once it's put in the head, and unfortunately I cannot hone this guide out to make it any straighter, because it'll just open up this end much bigger, and we I don't want to get any bigger on this end of it, you know that would be too loose. Um, so basically we kind of just have to live with it what it is, you know for that size on that one. Um, that was the intake. Rotate this a little bit. I'll show you the exhaust. And pretty much about the same thing. We got two at the end. And it's going to taper down. It's going to get smaller towards the. So I'm not very keen on the stock guides, replacing the stock guides in the heads because um, you can't. There's no sizing. You have to you live what they are sized from Ducati, and they're just not not right. So once the guides are in the head now, um, you know we have to recut the seats at this point because this, you know the guide itself is not going to be concentric to the ceiling surface, the 45 degree ceiling surface on the seat. So the valve is not going to sit, you know, um, right on the seat it's not going to seal right and basically a good check to tell you if the thing's off is if with the guides in, if the valves in there and if you tap it and you can hear that noise that means you know it's not sitting right it's not sealing right you know there's it's not concentric to it so what we have to do is uh, we'll recut the valve seat um, that'll make the valve seat concentric to the center of the guide and that'll make sure the valve seals properly. And one of the biggest things on if you don't have the sealing right, if it's not concentric, is whenever this touches down, it puts sideways angle pressure on the valve, and it prematurely wears out the guide. And it's uh, just not a not the right thing to do to just put these valves back in without recutting the seats. So, we'll recut the seats, and then it'll be concentric again, and um, we'll ship the head back. So, uh, we'll s check back, and I'll show some more videos uh, eventually here of the installation and honing and sizing of bronze guides to do it the proper way so that the board is nice and straight. You have the proper clearance the whole way through the guide. There's no taper in it. Uh, it's not barrel-shaped in the center or, you know, something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, if you got any questions, the email is benfox at foxperformanceengines.com or the website is www.foxperformanceengines.com. Uh, thanks.